Hi, this is Kate and in this video you're going to discover how to use the advanced features of the Visco camera app. So um, after you open the Visco app, uh, you need to know how to get into the camera. So if I just exit from the camera just for a second. So when you open the Visco camera app, you often just end up straight in your library. Uh, if you tap the bottom right hand corner with a circle, that takes you to the camera. If I exit again, there's another way of getting to the camera from the menu uh, and you can tap the camera icon at the bottom left corner of that menu. So once you're in the camera app, um, you need to know how to access the advanced uh, settings. And if we tap the circle at the top left and then tap the advanced button, the ADV button at the top right, um, you get an extra icon appear at the bottom left of your screen. Uh, now, if you tap on that icon, you'll see the five uh, advanced manual settings. And these are, from left to right, um, the exposure compensation, white balance, manual focus, ISO, and shutter speed. So let's go for the um, sun icon to start with. And that is the exposure uh, exposure compensation. Uh, so if I tap to set focus, I can now um, adjust my exposure, um, just tweak it slightly um, to the left or to the right using this slider. Now I'm actually just going to hide the focus um, icon just so that you can uh, see the, the picture better. So if I go to the left with the slider, it makes the image darker and to the right it makes the exposure brighter. Uh, so this really allows you to fine tune your um, exposure so that you don't have um, any um, exposure problems that can't be fixed in um, post-processing. So I think I will go for not minus 0 0.9, minus one, something like that, um, just to make sure that those brighter areas of my picture aren't overexposed. Uh, you can always tap the auto button to put it back to um, what the camera thinks the exposure should be set to. So the next option at the bottom is white balance or WB. And this allows you can, to control the colour temperature. Um, so basically how cool or warm the colours are in your photo. So if I tap on the slider and drag to the left, it makes the picture more blue. And to the right, it makes it uh, more orange or yellow. So depending on how warm or cool you want your picture to look, you can adjust the white balance slider. If you want to put it back to the auto setting, just tap the auto button on the left of the slider. So the aim usually with white balance is to get your whites looking white. So you don't want um, your picture to look too warm or too cool. Um, but if you're shooting in certain types of light, such as lamp light, um, you can get these ugly colour casts in your pictures. So occasionally we need to adjust the white balance to compensate for these warm coloured lights or cool coloured lights. Um, so if I tap the bottom uh, left icon again, I can get back to my manual settings and let's go for the next one which is the middle icon with a plus inside it and this is for manual focusing um, so you can just tap on the slider oh sorry go to manual focus you can tap on the slider and use it to bring the picture in and out of focus now this is great for close-up photography um, so if I get nice and close to one of the flowers. Um, now sometimes just tapping on the picture is makes it difficult to focus on the exact right part of the subject when you're shooting close up. So altering the um, slider, sorry, I'll just get rid of the red circle. Um, altering this slider really allows you to fine tune the sharpness of the photo. So that looks really nice and sharp at that setting. Okay, so that's um, manual focus. Um, just to put it back to normal focusing, just tap the auto button. Uh, so tap the uh, left hand icon in the bottom bar again, and we'll get to our fourth setting, which is ISO. So ISO controls the camera's sensitivity to light. And if you make the camera more sensitive to light, it basically brightens the exposure. Um, so if I tap on the slider, 
and slide this along you can see the image getting brighter but you might also notice some grain in that photo um, so increasing the ISO allows more light into your exposure uh, but it can end up with a, a grainy effect on your image so you need to be careful not to go too um, bright um, now why would you use ISO rather than exposure compensation well, ISO also affects the um, shutter speed um, directly. So the higher you have the ISO setting, the faster the shutter speed can be. Uh, so if you're getting um, camera shake because your camera is using a slow shutter speed, say in low light, um, then you can increase the ISO to give you a faster shutter speed to allow you to hold, uh, hand hold the camera um, without getting camera shake. I'll put it back to auto. Uh, so the last setting um, is the shutter speed icon on the right. And this allows you obviously to alter the um, shutter speed, which is the amount of time that the shutter is open for. Uh, so if I tap on the slider, uh, two things happen when you alter the shutter speed. One is that the exposure changes. So if I take it right down to uh, the fastest shutter speed, the picture gets quite dark, take it up and the picture gets brighter. Uh, but the other thing that happens is um, it controls how movement is captured. So uh, if you're using a slow shutter speed uh, like this, you can see as I move my camera, everything's appearing quite blurry. I'm getting camera shake because the camera is um, using a, a slow shutter speed and uh, it's not able to capture a sharp um, picture because I'm moving the, the camera. If I had my camera on a tripod, this wouldn't be a problem. Um, a fast shutter speed, you won't have problems with, with uh, hand holding the camera. Uh, if you want to capture any motion in your picture as motion blur, um, then use a slow shutter speed, but you'll need a tripod so that you don't get camera shake. So those are the five uh, manual camera settings which give you a bit more control over um, the final image and the creative effects um, to do with colour and exposure and um, shutter speed and movement. Um, if you want to turn the advanced features off when you've finished using them, just tap the ADV button at the top and your icon from the bottom left disappears. To bring it back, just tap the ADV button again and then tap the icon in the bottom left corner to access your uh, manual features. So I hope that's given you a bit of um, guidance on how to use these features in your own photography. Um, so the best way to learn these advanced features is literally just to open the camera app and play around with each feature until you really get the hang of um, what creative effect it has on your photography.